This is an HDMI and KVM over Ethernet, which we can use on our network. And I don't need to connect this unit to this one directly with an Ethernet cable, which we have seen some solutions such as this. We can use it on our network with our switch. Now, I do have a setup right over here at this moment where I do have this transmitter connected to the main computer, but I'm controlling that computer right over there and right over there. And the only thing I do have is an Ethernet cable that will go to my switch and then cables come from my switch which normally do and I just need to connect one of these units wherever I want to control this computer which is really really cool but it's cooler to see instead of talking so let's see how easy it is to use it this is the main computer connected to the hdmi and kvm this is the ex 500 kvm a 4k 60 hertz hdmi and kvm over ethernet with ip so i do have this computer connected via hdmi here so that it inputs the signal and then i do have this ethernet cable that will go to one single switch which is right on that back door now that single switch i also have another ethernet cable coming to connect to this unit here which is a receiver ex500 kvm same model and what i have here is a usb dongle so that i can control the computer right over here so if i move the mouse around and i press for example here and sorry that i'm holding my phone if i press something here for example the windows menu which i can leave it right over there and if i look at the setup right now which is the main computer i do have exactly what i've opened so if we go to this computer once again and if i close for example the vmware and we have closed the windows menu now if i take a look at that one that is okay now we can connect more than one so if we go to this setup right over here we do have a third unit connected so i do have an ethernet cable that it's coming from my wall which is connected to that one single switch that we talked and then i do have the power we also have a usb dongle which is for the keyboards and mouse and basically that is it the ethernet cable and we have kvm signal right over there so in this particular case if i press the windows button here for example I can just use the keyboard or use the mouse for example and anything that i do here will reflect on the main computer actually we are controlling the main computer by using the kvm and hdmi over ip ethernet which is really cool so we can use a switch in the middle so at this moment if i press here or if i leave the windows menu open and let's go to the main computer we will see that we have exactly the same thing that we had right over there the windows menu right over here and also the windows menu right over here which right now if i just leave this one and go back this one doesn't have it anymore and if i go to the other one at the end it doesn't have anymore as well so we are controlling from two different places besides the main computer just by using the kvm and hdmi over ethernet and now that we have seen the setup here we are on the main computer so i can control it here as well i can just choose to work here or work on the other two spots that we just have seen now in terms of the connectivity is pretty straightforward i just want to add a few more things here in terms of the transmitter which is the first unit located near the computer we only need to connect the hdmi cable that it's coming out of my computer to this unit here and then i will connect one usb cable to the computer and to to the unit which is the uh, cable that will share the information where i do use mouse or keyboard or anything that i will connect to the receiver units now we also need to connect the ethernet cable which is what is going to send all the information over the network in this particular case this one is connected to a switch and then from that switch i have several cables on the network i have internet connection as well and i do have those two workstations that you just have seen actually not workstations just the display keyboard and mouse and the kvm hdmi device from ori which will make the magic happen so on the receiver side i just need to connect exactly what we see here one 
cable that will come from my switch and then one HDMI cable that will go out to the display and we will need to connect a keyboard and mouse so that we can control the main computer which is here. So basically in terms of connectivity it's just this. Now in this case what I'm doing here is something a bit different which is this computer has two HDMI outputs. So I have one HDMI output going to the transmitter and I do have one HDMI output going to my display. So in this particular case I'm using mirror screen so I'm having two displays, one here and one right over here. In case your computer doesn't have two HDMI outputs, one of the things that we can use is a splitter. I've got an example here but we have seen quite a few solutions that we can use. In this particular case we have one HDMI input to two outputs. So if my computer only had one HDMI output I would connect this one this end to my computer and then the two outputs I would connect one output to the display and the other output to the HDMI and KVM extender which would then send the signal. So this is one of the ways to get around if your computer doesn't have two HDMI's and if you want to have this setup like I have. If you put a laptop here then you will have the laptop screen and also an HDMI output that will go here so it's another solution. This will depend on the computer that we will be using but it's as easy as this. Simple as this and one of the things that I really enjoy on this unit here is the possibility to connect not directly transmitter and receiver which we have seen some solutions but to connect to our network so they will have an IP address they will be discovered on our network which is really really cool so I can connect to my switch as I did right over here and then connect one work place right over there and another workplace on the living room while the computer is still right over here so really really cool in terms of the connectivity on the receiver side is as easy on the transmitter so I just need to connect it to the power and then I need to connect one cable HDMI cable to the display that I have on my workspace and then if I want to connect a mouse and keyboard that just connect here and let's connect a Ethernet cable to our switch the same switch where I do have this cable going in so that we can receive all the data and image from the main computer to this device and use it wherever we want. So if I want I can leave right over here as you saw go right over there keep on working and go to that living room and keep on working but if we have a longer space up to 120 meters we will be more than fine. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and if you did so don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you on the next one.